Hi, while I was recording my book haul, I thought I would quickly uh, do a book review on the short second life of the camera by Stephanie Mayer. This is a um, Eclipse tie-in novel. Um, it is about the newborn vampires and it is told through Bree's perspective. It has the character has Riley as well as new characters like Fred and Diego. Um, I to be honest, I and this wasn't really my cup of tea. I love the character of Brie at towards at the end of the clip. And I just wanted I felt this ruined it for me because I had a whole you know, backstory on how she became a newborn vampire and I you know. I don't know how in the ending is bad and everybody knows what happens to Brie in Eclipse if you have read Eclipse yet, but I'm not gonna, you know, ruin it for all the people who haven't read. Um I did like it. It, I did like it, but like I said, it was. It felt like a bit of a chore to get through. It felt like I had to get through it because it's Twilight, and you know, I have to read this book. So if people say, "Oh, you read the second of Brie Tanner," I don't really want to be the person who says, "No, I'm not really." Um, so yeah, I do like the cover. The hourglass is so, 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 so cool. The hourglass is cool, and I do like the inside of the uh, in the inside of this blood red. Considering. Blood Red, obviously it's the Fantasy book, obviously it's going to be Blood Red. <laughs> but I do like Stephanie Mayer's work. I do, I do, I do. And I'm hoping when I read the host that it'll be better. But yeah, it's just not my cup of tea. So please, please, if you're a Twilight fan, don't have a go at me. And But I'm not always people who say, oh, go get this book. Um, the writing is good style. It's the same style as, you know, in the Twilight books. They're just all a different character. That's probably why I didn't really like it because it wasn't, you know, from Bella's point of view or anybody else's point of view. It's from a different point of view. So it's from Bruce's point of view. It's from, you know, how they become reborn to the fight, to the battle, to, you know, what happens to the end. It's, yeah, it's brilliant. But I hate the Voltori. I hate, I actually just like the Voltori. They're so cool. How can Ron Cosman be so mean? Yeah. But yeah, I did like this book. I did, I did like it, even though it wasn't really mm. amazing. <laughs> amazing as the Twilight series. I have the Twilight series, so I've read all the Twilight books, so can't. So yeah, so I give this book a three. And an awesome three. Awesome three. Three out of ten. No, three out of five. So. Three out of five. Amazing. So yeah, I hope when you f if you've read this book, please leave a please leave a comment if you've read this book, or you know, or tell me what you think about um you know tie-in novels or novels like this that um like that authors write you know to tie in a book series or that goes with a book sort of series because I'm a bit on the fence about you know tie-in tie-in novel novels that tie in with the book series, like school different characters in the book series and stuff like that. At the beginning there was a note from Stephanie May explaining why she wrote the book when she wanted or you know, she wanted everybody to, you know, have a special place for Brie in their hearts. But she surely she has done in a way. But yeah, I'm not really big a fan of um tie in tie in novels on the series. I just like the series as a whole. And like if um, if the characters I love then I would create a whole backstory for them in my head and what happens to them and how, you know, like I've created a whole backstory for Brie what happens in, in my head, well, how she becomes a newborn, um, whether she fell in love, which she did She did in this book, so in a way, my, in my head, it was exactly the same as this head in this, you know, in this, and whether she um, made friends and stuff like that, so yeah. But, um, I love Riley. Riley is gorgeous as well, but he's a bit mean in this one. Riley is the gorgeous vampire. Show me what happens to him at the end, because Riley could have been potential. He could have been potential. <laughs> he could be potential. Oh, book boyfriends. We all love them, don't we? Come on, come on girls, and that's it. You all have a book boyfriend that you love. So there be Mr. Darcy, or Edward, or, or even Harry himself. But yeah. Oh, Riley, you stole my heart, even though you're a bit, even though you're the enemy. <laughs> so that's it. That's my mini, mini review on the short second life of Brie Tanner. Hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed my review. I hope you 
I hope you enjoyed this book. If you enjoyed this book as much as I, you know, as I much as this, as you could, and um, yeah. But I do have a thing. I wish I wouldn't put the international bestseller number one bestseller. I just, you know, we really know she likes Twilight books. You don't need it on the other books. For to be honest, the host, for instance, is the author of the Twilight Saga. Yes, I really know she's the author of the Twilight Saga. I don't need it on the host book everywhere I go. But I know some people don't realise she is the author of the Twilight Saga. But yeah. I don't like it when I do that. Why can't it just be the host the who she is and then maybe put it, you know, put it in the back. You really have it, you really have what she writes in the blooming front cover of this book. So why do you need why do you need it on the actual front cover? <laughs> no. Tell me what you think about that as well. Tell me if an author who's brought a really popular series and then's written a you know, a book like the host the host or like J.K. Rowling in the casual vacancy and um, does it really need do you really need to know that she's also written the Twilight Saga as well or the books that she's already written are going to be in that push in that page or the, in that page please let me know what you think yes and please comment subscribe if you want to as well if you like my bookish behaviour I love bookish, bookish behaviour so yeah so that's all for today. So yeah. Bye bye.